Hey loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here today as you can tell by the title I am back with a massive autumnal haul. I have done some huge orders. It literally came in a box. I ordered that much stuff from H&M, Zara and one thing from Mango as well. I love everything. It's very autumnal. It's very cozy. It's very cute. It's very Pinterest inspired. These bits are going to make some gorgeous outfits and I feel like they're very much staples in your wardrobe and items that you're going to wear over and over again. I love everything so let's dive on into the haul. Before I do that I do just want to mention that I have a discount code with Farfetch that can get you 10% off your order. It's only available on certain brands but if you're looking to get yourself a new bag, new pair of shoes, some clothes, even makeup it works on the beauty section as well I'm pretty sure. I recently got myself this bag which I'm so excited about. I wanted a sparkly clutch because I don't really have an evening bag well I didn't and I got this one from Benedetta Brizicis you can get 10% off this it's just stunning the perfect evening bag in my opinion she reflects differently in different lights beautiful the ultimate evening bag in my opinion and a really really good price point so I'll link this below as well but if you guys do want to get something off Farfetch be sure to make use of my code because it is live for around 20 days also if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and TikTok my handles are on screen right now be sure to follow me on there for outfit inspo and just to get to know me a little bit better I guess but let's get into the haul shall we start with H&M, I think that's a good place to be. So I actually wore this yesterday and spilt coffee down it, so excuse the coffee mark on it, but it is this beautiful gray cable knit cardigan. I just think this is stunning. I love this item. I love the tortoisey shell buttons down the middle as well. It is really, really fuzzy. It's really soft. It's not scratchy at all. It's very soft, very cozy. I love it. I got it in a size small because I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized instead of like a tight cardigan. And I think I could have still got this in an extra small for it to be oversized it's definitely not a tight cardigan vibe at all but I think this is the perfect fit and when you tuck it into jeans it like slouches down perfectly as well so I love this so much really really cozy really good price point and H&M knitwear always washes really really well I've got bits in my wardrobe that I bought last year they've been washed a million times and they're still amazing quality so I absolutely love this I think with skirts with jeans it's just gonna look so so cute now this jumper you might actually recognize from last year because I had the exact same one and you guys went mad for it on Instagram like I think was it like 500 people bought it something like that it was something insane Everybody wanted this jumper. It sold out every time I put a link up it would sell out again Like you literally had to act so fast to get this jumper last year. It was a nightmare trying to get it I got myself two because I thought with it selling out all the time I want to have one spare because I wore it so often This looks so cute with like leggings and a leather jacket and some boots if you're like out walking the dog or like Going on a little coffee run or something like that or you can dress it up a little bit more with jeans Or you can tuck it into a skirt. It is just the perfect cozy cable knit jumper it is a beautiful shade of cream. It almost has like a beige tint running through it. Stunning quality, so cozy. Again, not scratchy at all. Really, really soft, really snuggly. It is just a perfect winter jumper in my opinion. Obviously, it's got those kind of like Ralph Lauren vibes with the cable knit as well, which a lot of people love at the minute. I feel like Pinterest and TikTok has like blown Ralph Lauren up again. Not that they ever disappeared, but they've definitely made it a lot more popular. It's like a thing, isn't it? On there and it's definitely got the Ralph Lauren vibes with the cable knit running through it, but obviously just a fraction of the price. I think this was $25.99, which is such a good price for this jumper. Now this one, I'm not going to lie to you, is a little bit scratchy. Not like itchy, 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 I need to get this off. It's just a little bit scratchy. It's not the softest. I think it is because it is almost like a mohair. Is this called a mohair actually? Because it feels like it. Yeah, it is. It's mohair. It's a mohair jumper. So I feel like all mohair jumpers, because they're fuzzy, they can feel a little bit... They're not itchy. They're just a little bit... There's texture there. So if you're funny about having texture on your skin, this isn't one for you. But... I love it and I also love, I don't know if this is the intention with this or if it's just supposed to be like a cool sleeve, but the way I see this is the sleeves are longer with a split so you can roll them up over a coat or a jacket, whatever it is that you're wearing and I think that looks lovely. Even if you roll it up while you're wearing it, it kind of gives it a bit of like a shirt vibe. It's just cute. I really like that detail on it. I think it's really nice. This is definitely... I'm not going to say it's cropped, but it's not like a full length jumper. Like it's not going to cover your bum. It probably wouldn't even touch your bum. It probably touched the top of your bum. It's definitely a shorter jumper. Not like the one I'm wearing, which is longer. But I do really like this. I think with jeans and skirts, it's going to look really, really nice. And like I said, I love that detail around 
the cuff i just really really love that detail the way it rolls up i love the look of like when you put a jumper on and you fold a shirt over the cuff of it i think it looks really really nice so i also love the look of it being rolled over a coat as well so i really really like this jumper i think you guys are going to love it as well very very cute very very cozy as well it's a very thick knit this is going to definitely keep you warm this one is just a really simple kind of like i'm gonna say grayish shade this is 52 percent recycled polyester i got it in a size extra small and i thought this with a shirt underneath with what i just said with the rolled up uh cuffs of the shirt around the sleeve is going to look really cute it's definitely got like a bit of a balloon sleeve going on and definitely a looser slouchier sleeve which i also love and i just love the color of this Honestly, in England, if you also live in England, you know what it's like. It's freezing here. Like, you don't have another option other than to wear a jumper. <laughs> like, in the autumn winter time, you either wear a jumper or you freeze. So I feel like having a good stock of jumpers is definitely essential when you live here. I love this one. This is very soft. This is probably the softest one out of all of them. It's very soft, very stretchy, very comfortable. And I just think this is going to be a gorgeous piece in my wardrobe. With a little white shirt underneath, black mini skirt knee-high boots it's gonna be a vibe love this one now this one i kind of wish i had sized up to make it more of a slouchy fit i got this in an extra small and it definitely is oversized i think it said oversized on the website so i presumed it was going to be big and i didn't want it to drown me i wish i'd got a small in it just one size up um because i think that would have looked a little bit cuter with like the slouchy vibe but it's fine it still looks cute i've taken the tags off because i couldn't wait to wear it because i love it so much i love this print there is something about this print i just absolutely love i think they called it the harlequin um cardigan i'm pretty sure i just really like this this is also very very soft i'm not sure on what material it's made out of but it's very very comfy very cozy i wore it the other day with just like a little black cami jeans and boots it looked really really cute i love having cardigans because I know I just said you need to be wearing a jumper, but on those warmer days, I like to wear just like a little cami top with a chunky cardigan thrown over the top, and I think that looks really cute. And even for wearing around the house, and it's got black buttons as well, so it doesn't distract from the design that is actually knitted into the cardigan. It just looks very seamless. It looks very chic. I feel like this is very on trend. Um, I saw a girl last year wearing a cardigan like this and thought it just looked really nice, really stylish, and a little bit different to just like a plain cable knit cardigan, I guess. I also got some fingerless gloves. I do not like gloves. I won't wear gloves. If you know me, you'll know this. Like People tell me to put gloves on because it literally gets to a point where my fingers are going blue. But I just hate wearing gloves. I hate, oh, I hate the feeling of it. It actually gives me the ick. So I got some fingerless gloves. I looked for these all last year, but I could only find them in like grey and black. And I know I've bought quite a few grey jumpers here, but I don't usually wear grey. So I wanted them in like a beigey tone um because that would just go with everything in my opinion fingerless gloves they're a must these are recycled polyester and they were very cheap i'm gonna say they were like six pounds or something like that and they're just perfect to be honest i love them they're literally perfect for what i wanted really really happy with them and i'm so glad i got them definitely get these because i think they're gonna sell out actually i can kind of see these being an accessory this year Let's see if I'm right about it. Now, the last thing I got from H&M actually hasn't arrived yet. I saw a girl wearing this jumper on TikTok and I was like, I've seen that somewhere and I need it. I almost bought it when I saw it online and then I saw her wearing it. I was like, okay, I actually need it. So I've ordered it. You guys will see it on the try and clip right here. But I saw this girl wearing it and she looked so good. And I was like, yeah. I'm going to place that order. It looks really comfy, really cosy. Um, hopefully it's not scratchy. If it's not scratchy, I'll give you a big thumbs up to let you know. But if it is scratchy, I'll give you a thumbs down to let you know. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait for that to arrive. I was trying to wait to film this video until it came, but it's not coming till six o'clock and it's going to be pitch black by then because the nights are getting short next on to zara firstly the jumper i am wearing this i changed into yesterday because i went out i had the worst day in the world yesterday like i'm not even kidding it was so bad oh you know those days where you're just like falling over and spilling things and tripping and getting locked out of things that was my day yesterday it was horrendous and i spilled coffee all down that gray cardigan and it's very noticeable it might not be on camera but in person it's like all down the front <laughs> really really embarrassing um and i popped into zara and i grabbed this jumper i got this in either a size medium or a size small i'll pop it on screen what size i got but it's just a beautiful v-neck chunky jumper i'm gonna put like a hair bobble in the 
around the rim. This is a trick if you don't know. You put a hair bubble there and then you can ruche the sleeves up so they stay like this. I haven't done it today because I'm just in the house but I love the look of that with the scrunched up sleeves and I just love this jumper. I've literally not taken it off since I got it yesterday because it's just really, really comfy, really cosy. Super stretchy, a really nice like oversized chunky fit. I really, really love this jumper and I don't think it was too expensive either. Look at the colour of this. Oh my god. Look at the colour of this dress. Oh my god, it is stunning. This is one of my favourite colours ever. I think it looks lovely with blonde hair and also dark hair. I feel like this colour just suits everybody universally, regardless of hair colour or skin tone. I just think it's a beautiful shade of green. Obviously, it kind of screams Christmas. But me and Lou are going to a stag do. It's for a gay man, so it's basically a hendo. It's going to be very sparkly and fun and glitzy and glam. Um... And I needed something to wear that was a little bit fun. I always wear a sequin mini skirt when we go like out out. Because I don't really have a lot of out out clothes. <laughs> Can anyone relate to this? I've got day to day clothes. But out out clothes I really struggle with. And I don't like tight dresses and stuff like that. I don't know, since COVID I just can't be bothered to really get dressed up. But I saw this and I thought, you know what, this actually looks really comfy. Is that an elasticated? It's got a little bit of elastic around the waist. So hopefully it's like... You know, I can eat what I want and have to worry about it. But it's just like a shirt dress type vibe. Hopefully this is going to be really cute. Um, I thought it's shiny, you know, it's getting in the spirit. It's getting in the going out spirit. Hopefully it's going to be very flattering. I just really like the look of it and I picked it up. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you're coming home with me. It was 32 .99 and I just think it's stunning. Even as like, I know it's a bit early to talk about Christmas, but as a Christmas day dress, oh my God, that is, if Christmas was a colour, this is it, right? like this all red and this dress is just beautiful so i can't wait to try this on hopefully it fits over my bum i have that problem sometimes when it's like tight um and structured because this um the material itself doesn't have stretch to it so we will see and then this jumper isn't my usual style but i really wanted to like try it on and see how i felt about it it was 29.99 they'd only do it in a small large and extra large and it's just a gorgeous little white fluffy jumper with these beautiful little like crystal embellished buttons down the front and I just pictured this with like some light blue mom jeans some cute little shoes a coat just as like a really cute easy autumnal outfit it's got some like beautiful little ruche details on the shoulders as well I'm really excited to try this on and see if I like it as much on as I do the image in my head I just think it's so beautiful I honestly do I think it's so lovely and this is so this is so cozy and soft like oh my god I could literally just this could be made into a blanket and I would love it it's a gorgeous material so soft so stretchy I think it's just gonna be like the perfect little white crisp white knit I got one thing from mango and that is this leather skirt I have so many problems with skirts I know so many women can relate to this I find a skirt and it fits me around the waist, but I cannot get my bum into it for love nor money. Just won't work. I saw this one, which is elasticated. So I thought, let's give this a go because it's got an elasticated waist. So maybe I can like size up around the waist because it's stretchy anyway. And then there'll be more room around the bum because my usual issue is I get it in my regular size. It fits my waist and my bum is like ripping the seams. I don't even have a really big bum. Like, I, I wouldn't even say I've got a big bum. It's not a small bum, but it's not a big bum. So I don't really get it. I don't get it. People with, like, really big bums, do you wear skirts? Can you wear structured skirts or do you have to wear stretchy skirts? Because I am just baffled by this whole thing. I don't get it. But I saw this, I thought let's size up and see if it will fit. It's just a plain black leather skirt with a tie on the front. I had one very, very similar to this maybe a year or two ago. I don't know why I got rid of it because that was really nice and it fitted nicely. But I got this in a size small. I sized up in this one and it was $32.99. Please fit me, I'm begging. I have no skirts anymore because none of them fit me properly. And it's just a hassle trying to get things tailored. So I'm crossing my fingers that this skirt is the one for me and that it fits nicely and I actually really like this tie detail I feel like it gives a little something to the skirt I feel like they can be a little bit boring and a little bit mumsy um without that so cross your fingers for me I am praying that this fits me that is everything I have to show you guys I hope you found some beautiful autumn winter bits honestly everything I have shown you 
I love. I feel like these are all really, really good pieces. Definite staples in my wardrobe and hopefully yours as well. And honestly, I feel like these are all gonna wear really, really well. And I feel like they're timeless as well. Like you can keep these for years to come. There's nothing like on trend about any of them. So they're just gonna be like timeless in your wardrobe. I will leave links to everything in the description along with my height and my size for reference. And I think that is everything. Don't forget to use my discount code on Farfetch if you do wanna make a sneaky little order. You deserve it. You honestly do deserve it. We have had a heck of two years with COVID and everything like that. <laughs> like we've had a really bad run of it for the past while. So you deserve it. Treat yourself. That is my mentality all the time. I'm like, we've suffered for a while so I can buy those shoes. Honestly, I will use anything to rationalize being able to buy new things. To be honest, is anyone else like that or just me? Maybe just me. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you're all doing really really well, please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, give this a big thumbs up and leave a comment, I love chatting with you guys and my Instagram and TikTok will be linked in the description and written on the screen right now if you want to go follow me and I will see you really soon with a new video. Bye, I love you all!